talk about the meiosis and how it's different from mitosis, different, the difference between them. Now, as we know, or as we discussed before, the meiosis is about the division of the cells inside uh, only the chromosomes that are responsible for the sex chromosomes. So in this uh, in this subject, we will identify how many sets of genes are found in most uh, adult organisms. We're going to compare uh, somatic chromosomes with the sex chromosomes, describe each event that happened or occurred in yeah, the phases of meiosis in details, and they try to differentiate between it and between the mitosis. Moreover, we will differentiate exactly different. Uh, we will talk in details about the differences between meiosis and mitosis. Well, uh, during that, we'll explain how two alleles from different genes can uh, inherit it together. First of all, we need to talk about the chromosome number. Now, when we talk about chromosomes, we need to understand uh, that chromosomes are homologous in their structure. What does that mean? It means that the chromosomes with the same genes that has originally, one originally from the parents and the other one is the new one. Okay. Now, when we talk about chromosomes, chromosomes can be uh, diploid or haploid. Diploid, as I discussed before, die goes for the number two. Haploid, half, half goes for for the half of the number. So when you talk about diploid, it means that that contains four sets of homologous chromosomes. That means the total of two sets, as you can see here. This is mean that it has two from each one of them. Where in compared to haploid, haploid contain only one single set of chromosome with a total of one n only. Uh, we will go through uh, the mitosis in details. We will go through prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. We will be reviewing them. In meiosis, we have mitosis 1 and mitosis 2. The differences between meiosis 1 and meiosis 2, the crossing over, which happens only in meiosis and give us the different variation of characteristics that happen to the last, uh, to the uh, sex chromosomes. That's what gives us the different the structures between them. Now, prophase, as I said, we have prophase one, prophase two. Prophase one, uh, the duration of uh, crossing over where some of the genes from different parts of the two chromosomes will be cut, causing a different or a variation of the uh, uh, traits. Now, this is anatomy of it. How the uh, tetrad, which is the four chromatids, uh, uh, can be uh, diploid together to produce one. Metaphase one also is the same. Anaphase one the same. Prophase one and sequence is also the same. Now, when we go to prophase two, which is meiosis two, here we will start to find the difference between the uh, the two chromosomes that get into the crossing over. You will see how metaphase two and anaphase two uh, reoccur with two different characteristics for each chromatid. And then the product of mitosis will cause a four different daughter cells that has half the normal chromosome number, which is 23 chromosomes instead of 46. In the summary of meiosis, we compare it with meiosis uh, with mitosis. The prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, and cytokinesis are the same in order, different with the mean characteristic of the chromatid sister or the chromosomes inside, which is with four different. Uh, four different characteristic uh, chromosomes, which is R4, sperms, and one egg caused by the um, the size of the egg that needs a higher or a larger cytoplasm that causes to have only one egg. So how we uh, connect the genes? Alleles of different genes tend to be inherited together when those genes are located in the same chromosomes. That's normally. And uh, when we talk about the gene mapping, we have this uh, the fruit fly, and we can tell about the location and the different chromosomes for each one of them. Thank you.